watch this video. I'm sorry it's been a little bit of a while, but welcome to your 2018 year ahead forecast and overview astrologically and general guidance. I really felt this strong need to reconnect with you because it's been such an intense year and I just wanted to get, you know, just, just get a feeling of what sort of year you've had this year. So write me a comment underneath the, the video and just connect, just reconnect, let me know you're out there, say hi, um, let me know how the video resonates for you. I appreciate and love all of those communications with you and um, and also let's look ahead to 2018 which is going to be another powerful year. I feel very very strongly um, guided to say that this, all these shifts and changes that are happening as we know are pulling us onto the right path, they're pulling us into our power, they're taking us out of situations or ways of seeing things that are disempowering, they are moving us into a very very strong position where we can begin to share our light, express our truth and be divine channels and if that doesn't resonate for you and you've just come for a regular reading then you know just bear in mind that everyone is experiencing a shift at their own level of understanding and for you it might be that you you've changed at home or you've changed your changed your job or you relationships around you are changing family circumstances are changing things are just suddenly up in the air and transforming in a dramatic way and um, and you're wondering why why things are changing and maybe you've come here because you're looking for answers maybe things just seem very smooth for you but you're finding that people around you are having awakenings or their lives are changing or things are, uh, seem quite dramatic anyway this video is for anyone who has come looking for guidance for the year ahead in the context of all of these shifts and changes that are happening to all of us. So I hope you enjoy the readings. I've been asked to focus on three main areas by my guides when it comes to the astrology. The place that Saturn is leaving um, in the chart, the place that Saturn is moving into, and where Jupiter supports, uh, you know, the, the place of good fortune. So where Jupiter is going to be. So in some area for all of us, there will have been a maturing, there will have been a growing up, and that will have prepared the way for us to move into a, a deeper understanding of the next phase of our lives. And that's what we're just about to move into now. And we want to also look at where we are going to be most fortunate in taking that learning on board and really flourishing and blossoming and growing our lives in 2018. So those are the three aspects we're going to be looking at, um, the three movements, the three elements that we're going to be looking at. And then I'm going to pull some cards, some of my favourite decks I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my insight as well. And um, I also want to let you know my year ahead readings are available on my website. I'll leave a link under the channel. I might be doing some exciting and interesting things on Facebook. Facebook live as well soon long promised and I'll leave a link under the video as well and that's it I would encourage you to check your ascendant as well because I'm going to be looking at things very much on a house by house basis so it's going to be very important for you to be working from you know your ascendant as well as from your sun sign so I think that's everything have a fantastic year and if you're watching this before the year is over, I hope you're having a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate at this time of year. I hope you're having a great one of those. Have a fantastic holiday season and have a nice break, hopefully. And yeah, wishing you all the very best for the coming year ahead. Come back to this video and watch it as often as you like. And um, yeah, as I say, keep the uh, dialogue going. Let's comment, you know, share um, ideas and... and um, feelings about the times that we're going through and how we're shifting and how we're changing and evolving and what you actually currently believe about where we're moving to. Do you still believe that um, peace is possible? Do you still believe in utopia? Do you still believe that your life is moving in a positive direction? And is there anything that I can help you with? Okay, so yeah, that's quite a lot for now. Enjoy, take care, peace, and I'll speak to some of you soon. Okay, hi lovely Aries and welcome to your 2018 year ahead. So first of all for you I just want to say 
Happy New Year and um, your emphasis for the year ahead is going to be very interesting because you've just had Saturn moving out from the ninth, um, from your ninth house. It's been in Sagittarius for quite a long time so you've been doing a lot of maturing in the area of what you believe. What do you actually believe in? What are your beliefs and your philosophies on life in general and what do you, what are your um, spiritual beliefs even? What do you believe about the world? What do you believe about life? What is important to you? What's really important to you? You've also been looking at areas of education where you've possibly been learning new skills, um, new higher philosophies, new techniques or modalities or spiritual practices, things that will have helped you to mature your understanding about what you believe. Um, and so, and Saturn is also the sign of infinite potential so you may have felt that your your potential your possibilities have been a little bit limited sometimes in that you're trying to expand but because um because you've got Saturn there, it's saying to you, well, hold on, you just need to learn this little bit and then you can expand. You just need to learn this little bit and then you can expand. And so it's like a carrot being dangled. That's the image that I'm being shown, that there's always just a little bit more to do, a little bit more to learn. But in doing that, you're learning that actually it's not the striving to learn the next bit so that you can expand. That's not what's important. What's actually important is the life that you're living while you're making those plans, the day-to-day -day reality that's actually just flowing through our lives without us noticing. So it's been a big growing up process for you and now you're, uh, you've are you got Saturn moving into your 10th house which means that all the discipline and the focus is going to be on your career, you're going to be taking all of that knowledge, everything that you've learned, all the expertise, all of that understanding about what your beliefs are into the next year and um, and that's going to be very powerful for you well for the next couple of years um i think it might, might be nearly three years that saturn's going to be there and you're going to have supporting all of that you'll have jupiter in your eighth house so that will be in your house of things like big money loans bursaries taxes um insurance things like that so it could be that you're really clear about what you want to do with your career now because you know what you believe and therefore it's going to be very easy for you because you have really strong conviction to ask for support, to ask for money from big organisations, grants, bursaries. You might even be thinking of studying. Maybe you just decided last year what you wanted to study. Anyway, the year ahead is going to be a big year for career expansion for you. So just be aware that that is um, a possibility for you now, even though it's Saturn, um, Saturn is going to be in your 10th house, it's very comfortable in the sign of Capricorn. So you'll be supported and you will have the finances, the backup, the investment. It's more like long-term investment that will help you to achieve your vision, if you like. So. I've shuffled the uh, Psychic Tarot by John Holland and I just want one card to give you a general overview. Harmony, okay. So you'll be coming to a place of harmony and balance within yourself. There's also a strong possibility that there will be a relationship coming in at this year um, for some of you. Those of you already in relationships, you will come to a better understanding within those relationships because you've come to a better understanding of yourself and certain things that needed to settle within you have begun to settle. So it's going to be a really good year for that as well. Also, you will have been um, exploring all kinds of ways of expanding in the past year. So that could have included working with groups of people, it could have included expanding out in your community um, because uh, Jupiter, you know, the ninth house is all about expansion and uh, you've, had, um, you've had Saturn there. So in the last few years you could have been wanting to establish a greater expansion in all of your life and found that you've been limited or restricted or that the connection that connections that you've made have limited or restricted you or they haven't been quite right. Now there's going to be much more, a greater sense of harmony and that will be the kind of harmony that supports you in achieving your real goals and fulfilling your true divine purpose. 
So let's just have a quick look at the angel cards. So I'm going to have a look at the guardian angel cards. So past, present, future. So you've got harmony twice there. So there's either something really beautiful coming in or there's already something great there that's waiting to come to a greater level of understanding and harmony. So let's look at, in terms of past, present, future, I'm going to also relate this to this, uh, the, current, the past, present, future, the, the beginning, middle and end of 2018. So past, You've explored a little bit of writing, some of you, or you've been um, journaling to kind of deal with your feelings, to deal with your frustrations about not being able to expand or not having clarity. In some way, you've used writing or you've used the word expression. You've been coming to terms with better ways of expressing yourself across the board, is what I'm hearing. Better ways of making yourself understood, better ways of making... Um, uh, making it really clear what you actually mean, becoming a much stronger communicator. And that is going to help you, or you're already seeing signs at the moment of it helping you to achieve better harmony and balance in your relationships. And uh, you're being encouraged to step forward and say what you really feel and what you really mean, rather than shutting down going inside, trying to make sense of it in your head and assuming that other people know what you're thinking. It's going to be another really important year for you to continue that process if that's what you've been learning um, how to do along with learning what you believe what you believe and what you what your philosophy is in life. So you've also could have been doing some writing that's helped you to understand what what it is that you really believe. So journaling things out and um, possibly even writing a book that, that spreads a belief because you, you can also use that ninth house energy to, as well as understanding what you believe, to spread a message. So you could have been focusing on that. Now you're coming into a time where you're wanting to look at relationships and your relationship to the greater community as a whole, wanting to make sure that everything you do is coming from your heart. Moving into the future, you're going to be asked to make sure that you know how to clear your energy, that you regularly clear your energy, that you call upon the, angel the angelic realm, call upon particularly Archangel Metatron, who is trying to bring you up into a higher frequency of evolution and development at this time and you ask for assistance in keeping your energy clear and keeping your thoughts about your mission, your vision I'm hearing, keeping your vision clear. For some of you that will have been an issue as well. I'm seeing it's almost like a blurriness in front of the eyes and I know this is a general reading, of course it's not going to apply to everyone but if there's anything at all to do with vision clarity, opening the third eye, wanting to see things as they really are. This is going to be another year when, you know, all of that mist is going to begin to lift even more strongly. But keeping your energy clear will help with that. So I've also shuffled the secret language of colour cards and we'll see what we get for you there. Revitalise your nervous system. So for some of you, you've been running yourself ragged over the last year overcompensating, trying to overcompensate for not being absolutely clear about the way ahead, the direction, what it is you believe, what it is you want to achieve, all of those things. And you're being asked now to step back a little bit, particularly at the beginning of the year, because you, if, you, if your nervous system is jangled, if you're not rested enough, if you're not giving yourself enough time and space and deep self-care, you will not be able to do the things that you really need to do to your own satisfaction, to your own high standards. And that's another area in which you've been forced to mature in the last few years. You've been forced to really look at what, what do you need? What do you need? What supports you in expanding out into the world? What really holds you in a place of feeling very safe? 
Jupiter also is um, going into that house of intimacy. The eighth house can be very much about intimacy, boundaries and trust. So you've had to learn to trust yourself over the last few years and particularly last year. To trust yourself, to trust your boundaries, to trust that you do know what's right for you, that it is okay for you to say no sometimes, that when you do withdraw your energy and heal and look after yourself, things start to flow again and you do start to get those inspirations and you do manage to get everything done that you need to get done. So that's been very important. So take that maturity that you've learned into the year ahead and you're going to achieve amazing things, amazing things on the career front because that's the stage you're stepping into, but also a few surprises to do with relationships. And I'm hearing September as being quite important. I don't like to do predictions because I think they can be disempowering. And if something lovely happens to you in September, that's great. But if it happens to you in July, that's even better. You are the creator of your own reality, of your own destiny. And if you take all of this on board, it is going to be quite a phenomenal year for you. Okay, so have a great 2018, Aries. Hope you enjoyed your reading. Please leave me a comment and um, keep in touch and check out my year ahead readings that are personally for you, um, using your energy, your vibration and connecting with you and your purpose and your questions, any questions that you want to ask. So the link's under the video. Have a great year and I'll speak to you soon. Bye, take care.